Hey guys, Will with Into Mobile here. Uh, this one goes out to everyone with a Motorola Droid from Verizon in their pockets. Uh, you guys are probably all waiting for your Android 2.0.1 update from Verizon, but uh, you don't have to wait for them to push it to your phone over the air. What we're going to show you today is how to force your Droid to update to the newest Android operating system. Um, okay, so we have instructions on Into Mobile on how to download this file, this update.zip file right here. Download it to wherever you like. I downloaded it just to my desktop. And what you're going to want to do once you do that is take your USB cord, which is connected to your computer, and plug it in to your droid. Okay? Once you plug it in, you're going to get a little notification up here that USB is connected. Okay? Tap that, and you're going to get another screen that asks you if you want to mount or don't mount the card, the SD card. You're going to mount the SD card. And the point of doing that is so that right here, you show your SD card mounted as an external card or an external storage device. Okay, that's good. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our update.zip file that we just downloaded, it's about 10, a little over 10 megabytes, and just simply drag it right onto the SD card, probably called No Name. Um, I've already uh, loaded it up, but just for the purposes of showing you guys, we're going to replace it. It's 10.6 megabytes, shouldn't take more than a couple seconds, and bam. Okay, so it's updated. Now eject your SD card, just to be safe. Once it's gone from your screen, you can go ahead and unplug your droid, okay? It'll say preparing SD card for a little bit. Once that disappears, just hold down the power button and power it off. The, now you're all pretty much just set up to start your update. The next step is gonna take a little bit of hand-eye coordination, or finger coordination. What you're gonna do is you're gonna power on the droid Okay, while you hold down the X key on the keyboard. You don't have to hold down the power button, but you do have to make sure you keep the X button pressed down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hold down the X key while I hit the power button. And you'll see the Motorola logo. Once you see the Motorola logo, you can actually let go of the power button. Just make sure you keep this X button pressed down. And what this is going to do is take you to the bootloader screen. Okay, so it's going to be the triangle with the exclamation mark in, in the middle. Now you're going to press the volume up key together with the camera key. Okay, You can press them at the same time and see if that works for you. What worked for me was holding down the volume key just slightly before you depress the camera key. So bam, bam. And you'll get taken to a blue colored list which gives you the options of rebooting the system, applying the update, uh, wiping to factory, or wiping your cache. What you're going to do is slide it open and use your D-pad right here to navigate to the second option, which is apply SD card colon update.zip. Okay, just click that down, and what you'll see is a whole bunch of, you know, yellow text that's telling you that the droid is working, okay? You get a little progress bar down here just to keep you busy, but we're just going to wait a few minutes for this guy to fully update himself. You'll know when it's fully updated when this yellow bar gets full. There's no more gray in the progress. Okay, looks like the progress bar is pretty much full. We're going to wait for it to finish up flashing your droid with the new Android 2.0.1 update. And as soon as it's done, what you'll see is you'll get taken back to that blue colored list that we saw before right there. Okay, now you're updated, you're good to go, you are on Android 2.0.1, so what you're going to do is, using the D-pad again, hit the Reboot System Now option, and wait for your droid to reboot. We're going to show you what the reboot looks like, because the 2.0.1 update actually comes with a new lock screen on top of all the other enhancements that it brings. Um, we'll just give it a second to boot up here. And there's your new lock screen. You notice the clock is different, and the unlock and mute sliders are no longer in an arc. It's just swipe left and right. Okay, so that's Android 2.0.1 on your Verizon wireless Motorola Droid uh, from Intimobile.